All right, here we are at the boat again, doing a little repair. We're actually making it a little bit better than it was before. Uh, we have our windlass. It's a Lumar V700. And the problem that we've been having with it is every time we run uh, the anchor outward, the rope will get stuck here and it would just bunch up here at the corner and then it, it, it wouldn't go into the uh, anchor locker. Uh, so the repair we're gonna do for it, instead of having rope at the first 30, 40 foot, we're gonna put a chain, add a 30 foot chain to the 15 foot chain that we have here and that way when we go to the sandbar and all those uh, shallow areas we don't have to pull out that much other than maybe 20 30 feet of of chain and we'll have that instead of rope so stay tuned and i hope you like That right there is the problem we're having and it gets stuck right there so I'm gonna go down a little bit and then now we're gonna pick up it got stuck again this is the problem we've been having ever since we changed the windlass to the new V700 if you have one similar to this one and you're having the same problem uh, let us know in the comment section below uh, how you resolved it. Okay, we're gonna go up. And we only have this problem when the rope reaches the uh, windless gypsy. Uh, we have no problem with it when the chain goes through, whether it's going in or out. We just spread the uh, new chain, 30 foot chain. It's a G4 quarter inch. Right there. I'm gonna take this off so we can splice the chain, the new one to the old one, and extend it. And we'll show you how we do that next. All right, so here we have the new chain and the old chain. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it together there with this little C connector, two little pieces, and they go together. And mind you, these little things, they don't come with any instructions on how to put them together. And you just gotta guess, but they're simple. These little studs coming out from here, when you put them together, what you do is you get a hammer and you hammer the tips and that way they open up into a little mushroom and hold everything together in place. So we're going to do that next. And you just put them together like that. and. Um, before we put them together, we have to grab the other side of this chain and put it in there. Okay, now you put them together and that'll form like another link and link them together. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is put it flat on a hard surface and we're gonna hit it a few times flatten out those little pieces and, and it's not catching yet but uh, it, it will in a few seconds and we 
you do this, just be careful you don't hit your finger with the hammer. Starting to catch. It just needs a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, the problem we're having here is the cement is coming apart. I'm sure there's other easier ways to do this, but I found that the best way is make sure you pound on the link on a piece of metal. Uh, you saw there that base, the metal base we're using, uh, that was really helpful and that's when it started to go in place. These C-Link connectors have a capacity of a thousand pounds. I mean, that should be sufficient for the uh, anchor that we're pulling. And if you've had any experience with any, any of these links, uh, leave it in the comment section below. We'd like to hear from you. As you can see here, when it pulls the chain, we have no problem. The problem is the rope, once it gets to the hole going into the uh, anchor locker, it gets bind up right here, and then everything gets all messed up in, in the knot and doesn't let it go down. But once we get the chain in there, that operates inward and outward without any problems. And this is the reason why we're doing this until we figure out uh, what type of um, gypsy we need and chain and, and rope. I, last I know is that I used the correct rope, the correct chain, and we're still having the problem. So to be able to solve that, we're gonna solve it with extra chain. We'll have uh, a total of 45 foot of chain this time. And here we go again. Works perfectly and simple. right there we're just making sure that all the connections are nice and tight and uh, so we won't have a problem out out on the water just the way it should Hope this video inspired you to find solutions for your boating problems. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.